Hey guys, now today I want to discuss a brand new product, our 270 degree XT Max awning. That's right, it's the big brother of our famous XT awning, still offering the same features but more shade. So no poles, no lift coming down, fully freestanding and able to withstand a decent gust of wind as well. Now we've been listening to what you guys wanted, a awning which can fold forward offering more shade on the front of the vehicle we've brought this one out slightly further out the side as well about 200 mils wider than our xt awning and we've also been chatting to the big canopy manufacturers for the canopies that open up with a large gullwing door up the side so we don't have any poles interfering with that section let me walk you through the awning and everything that we have on it so on the front is our state of the art we're still using our canvas this is our 400 gram ripstop canvas in black and this is actually dual layered so we've got a double layer on the rear and a double layer on the front so if you reverse into some brush or you're driving forward and sticks and branches from your bush travels don't damage the bag the reason why we stick with canvas is so that while you're driving it does give the awning chance to dry out a bit it aids in drying out a slightly wet awning instead unlike a pvc bag that we found before at the bottom, our YKK zippers, always going for the best quality zippers, like on all of our products. Now, it takes a little bit longer to fold up than our XT awning, but not much. I'll just open that up, and what you'll see is a little loose bag of pegs and guy ropes. Guy ropes, really strong nylon adjustable guy ropes, as well as heavy duty and long, as you can see there, 300 mil long pegs. Really strong spring steel pegs, not gonna be going anywhere in the ground so what i'll do is just pop that over there unzipping it the bag like usual walk it all the way to the front lift the bag over the awning and you've got the two velcro straps which you can underdo let the awning drop down like such and fold the forward arms out walking in you can go and grab the rear arms they're sitting nicely up on the cradle and fold that open there and as you can see today setting this up in the wind like such is going to be interesting but i wanted to show you that the awnings can withstand decent amount of wind and you don't have to necessarily have another person assisting you so i like adjusting up the rear opening up the front awning walk it all the way around and really start stretching that awning out hook it into space and what we do is we like pulling the awning back to the vehicle giving you a 45 degree angle back so it's got something to tension against so there we go Front's all connected. Last walk around to the back and do your final adjustments. And there she stands, all up and ready, open. Not too much time, that was definitely under a minute. It's great. Now, running through the awning itself, we use our olive 300 gram ripstop canvas. And this is with our silver aluminized top on there, just to make it that ever so slightly cooler. You'll notice great quality on the products as well. We've got a triple layer stitched in Velcro seam all the way around the awning. So you can attach sidewalls onto this. Also notice this is one ton webbing that we use. Super strong, way over designed, keeping it in neat for your tie down points. Stainless steel D-rings. So you can clip into there to hold the poles down if you have massive winds. Also, we have the D-rings halfway between all the pole segments so that you can pull down to allow water to bead off of the awning on those rainy nights. Now, getting underneath the awning as well, what you'll notice is our same alloy extruded, truss constructed poles or arms for the awning itself. The same as our 270 XT awning, super strong. There you go, hang off that, no problem. Just great design, lightweight, as light as we can get it, offering the maximum strength and still giving us literally the strongest awning that the world has got to offer at this stage. Now, reinforced six millimeter thick marine grade stainless steel that is powder coated. So even if it scratches, there's no ways this is rusting. On the rear end of the truss itself, a full billeted alloy um, backing section with a solid stainless steel shaft running right through that. Super strong and robust, gonna last for years and years and years. Our rear extrusion alloy allows us to fasten the awning in different lengths all the way down the back. So you can slide your nuts and bolts in when fastening it up to a vehicle over there. There are two straps that come through from the bag. The front section of the awning is the same concept as the rear truss. We've got a smaller truss on the top and a single arm on the bottom. And again, a marine grade stainless steel front bracket over there. Now we've fastened this one up to our alpha rooftop tent. So 
we've allowed that fastening point nice and close to the front of this hinge as there's the extra weight. Now, a lot more shade, and what I want you to notice is for those canopy guys, is if you have a bigger canopy or larger canopy than this, which lifts up higher, there's no poles interfering in this section. So you've got a huge space to, for your canopy doors to open up and touch this, allowing easy access into the side of the vehicle. So just before we close it up, a few things to note as well. This awning is really big, okay? It's still, it's at least 200 mils wider on the side of the vehicle than our XT awning. Plus we have that additional front section there. Now as you can see, the wind is blowing fairly well today. The, the canvas itself has got movement in it and that allows the airflow also to flow underneath it. It's not too taut, but notice the poles. The poles do not move at all. So the poles are extremely strong, keeping it rigid and exactly how we need it. On the front of the canvas here, where the Velcro is attached as well, that's triple stitch, so three layers in there, really securing that Velcro down. Guys, also the internal receiving, we've got piping on the inside, just protecting the seams and the joints, making it look a lot neater. Now, a lot of, you know, we really take care in our awnings. We take care in our fabric that we use and the way that we construct these products. So definitely worthwhile seeing in the flesh. Now, what I'll go through is just close it up for you and show you it's a little bit longer than the XT, but it's not a deal breaker. Let me close it up. So basically go and release up the front end first. It doesn't really matter which way around you do it, but I'll just release the front end side, unhook it and let the awning just hang down into its natural position. So as you can see, no one else is holding it up or anything like that. Still no poles underneath. Release the other side. There we go. So let's literally let it fold down into its natural position, dropping all the canvas between. Now, the only trick when folding up is effectively, you've got your two segments. This needs to go over the top end. Come here, the wind is blowing, come back here. There we go. So kick that over and put that underneath. And take your arms all the way in to the back. And they actually get secured on top of that front bracket there so it keeps it nice and tight in place. Flip the front arms around, get the bag a bit neater so you can access your straps there and there and there we go. From this position make sure all the straps are inside, it does make it a lot easier when folding up. And then like before on the XT the bags are made large enough so you don't have to struggle in packing it away. So you've still got these two straps there keeping it super easy on the front side and keeping it all in there basically just guide it in all the way along as you work your way to the rear peg bag can still fit in the rear over there out of the way guys we use ykk zippers only the best quality on the bags as well Hope you enjoyed the product review video of everything we have to show. For more information on this product, go to our website at thebushcompany.com. Catch you later.